Hi and welcome to the channel. I'm Sam and this is the Crafty Blinder van build. And today we're installing an awning onto our Unistruck roof rail. We've just taken delivery of a brand new Fiamma ATS awning and it's absolutely massive. It barely fits in the hallway. So to attach the awning to my Unistruck roof rail I'm going to have to buy some spreader plates, some material to make spreader plates. So rather than mess about, I'm going to go and get some stainless steel plates made at um, a local firm. I've spoke to them, they're more than happy to do it. Just got to pop along with the measurements and they'll cut them while I wait. So that's what we're doing now. Unfortunately, nobody makes a bracket that will attach directly to the Unistrut. They may be missing a trick, but Fiamma and uh, Dometic and, and a number of others that make make these awnings um, maybe aren't following the trend of uh, <laughs> van builders going out there and making their own stuff so there's a niche in the market for someone who wants to do it but I, I've worked out that using the Fiamma brackets that I've ordered and a spreader plate will be alright so I've just got to pick them up now so I've been to a local fab shop and I've picked myself up Three stainless steel support plates. Now I took the Fiamma standard bracket, transferred that information onto there. So these plates are actually going to sit on top of the unistrut like this. They will bolt on, and then we will bolt these plates onto this. And that, where them holes are, will secure that plate onto there. Right. So these are all the holes good. They should line up with the piano bracket. If I have them all the right way around, they will. The Fiamma kit, mountain kit I bought, is what's known as the standard kit and probably one of the better ones to modify. This is designed to sit, say, on a flat roof. So it comes with all the bits. These will go internally. We've got spreader plates underneath as, for underneath as well. We've got the bolts and these are the bolts we're going to use. We're going to have to cut them all down once we've got them on our plate. So, a little bit of work involved in all this, but just one of them. It's what you do to, to get the job right, isn't it? We won't be using these spreader plates because we've built these big ones now. So, this is the bit <laughs> This is the bit now that counts. I've got to go up there, top of the van, and work out where I'm putting the brackets. So, I need to get my measuring head on. This is the underside of the awning and the bracket attaches like get it on the right bits on like so so it locks into there and it locks under there and nuts and bolts will slide along nuts slide along here and you bolt through this edge into this material and grips it on that so what I've got to work out is how far this can overhang and where it's going to sit on the van. A bit close there. So that's the end of the plate, but we've got all this that will overhang the van as well. So I need to consider that. So we need to take a few measurements. So some back plate to the front of this is at 190. the front edge it's 60 mil let's bear them numbers in mind 60. this is a spreader plate it's going to be secured to this unistrut 
and then Fiamma Bracken sits on the top of there. One thing we've got to look at is how far it projects out. So we had the measurement that we took earlier. 60 mil is going to sit about here. It's at this point here where the wind picked up and it made the audio to this video illegible. The point I'm trying to make here is when you've got the awning stored, it is still going to hang over the side of your vehicle and project out from the side so you need to consider that it's not going to clash with anything so the quick check I've done here is to open the door to make sure that I'm happy with how everything's gonna to lie together how everything's gonna sit on the van once I'd reassured myself that the door didn't clash and there was plenty of clearance I was happy to commit to fixing these spreader plates in the position they're now in. We've got a clash. So that bracket will sit there. As you can see, it clashes with the solar panel. So the solar panels need spun something again you don't consider until it comes to practical times when you need to consider it. What measurement have we got there? 660 by 135. So we could easily turn them to sit the opposite way. So that's my next job. Once I was happy with the position of the spreader plates, it was just a matter of marking them up for drilling. just sent the punched the marks for the M8 nuts that are going to hold this plate onto the onto the uh, unistrut so we'll just drill them out with M6 first and then we'll open them up with M8 Take the bolts off now, nuts and bolts, and split that down and stick it on the van rail. So I've wrote back edge on there, all the holes are drilled now, that's a support plate finally made. And this, these holes here, sorry, are just a little bit closer to the back edge than the ones at the front. There's, um, that's about, what would you say, 12, and that there is about... 17 to the centres so there's a big bit of a difference but if I'm in a hurry which I often am I may miss that so it's easy just to write that on you'll never see it again can you see can you see me hopefully you can let's pull that out it's out of the way so this is the spreader plate that we made Z bolt on. Let's get that fired into there. Make sure that that's the right distance out. 
would square to the plate. trying to do so under there we have these to tighten up this pair but we also have the back <laughs> two to do and it's a lot neater let's see if we can get you close to have a look no, maybe try this way there you go you see then that is neat that is my finger I'm trying to get that nut on and then trying to do everything else is a bit of a nightmare but we'll crack on anyway one to go there one in the center one at the end that there now even even with them just not even tightened up it's, it's really secure Installing the rear bracket is exactly the same as the front. The only thing to bear in mind is it must be installed to the same dimensions. I'm out of breath because I'm up and down these ladders every two minutes, just checking, making sure everything's lined up perfectly. Do the same at the end. So what we need is all these to line up properly. Let's go back to that front end and check, see what it's like. Set it up for the second, sorry, the middle bracket. Thought it had slipped. So, as you look at that now, that is all flush along there. When we do the next bracket, around about there, it'll line up. As you can see, it all does line up for the minute. When it comes to fitting the centre bracket, it's really important that it lines up with the front and rear perfectly. 
If it doesn't, when you come to attach your own in, it won't seat properly and you will have to come back and readjust this bracket. To overcome that problem, I'm using my tape as a straight edge. I've clamped it at both ends and pulled it tight. And this has aligned it perfectly with the front and rear brackets. It's then just a matter of securing it in place and adding the top Fiamma bracket. Let me just show you this. So we have a slightly smaller gap here than down that end. Down that end, get my fingers in and a spanner in. But for this end, I'm going to use a little trick. So that's a bit of gaffer tape on the bottom. The nuts inside there. All I'm going to do is slide that under and start the bolt from above. Got the binder. I should have cut this bracket before I installed the awning bracket, but in my haste I forgot all about it, and the only way to get rid of it was with the grinder. I just couldn't get the hacksaw in. It made a tidy job in the end, but uh, these are the mistakes that we make. Installing your awning is definitely a two-man job, and I've found the best technique is to lie to people. Ask them if, if they're doing anything today. Would they like to come round for a brew and a crack and a catch-up? That usually catches them off guard, and they'll come willingly. Tell them you're fitting an awning, and you won't see anybody for weeks. Because we'd taken the time to align the brackets, fitting the awning was so easy. In fact, we lifted it off a couple of times because it went on so easy. We just didn't believe it had seated properly. But in all honesty, it had. It's the time and effort you put in at the beginning again. It's foundation. It's the foundation work. Making sure everything's square, straight, and in the right position. And the job is so much easier. After a quick check of each bracket to make sure everything was as we expected it to be, lined up perfectly, it was just a matter of bolting it all so, together. I'll just show you what we're doing. So there's some bolts here that secure support in place. This is how the standard bracket works, it slots in there and that point there and then the bolts along the back hold it in position. So time to give it a whirl now.
<laughs> that looks amazing. Yep. Well, that's the end of our 38th video uh, in the van build series. It's a big number that. Didn't ever think, oh, when I started making these videos, I never thought we would end up having that many. And there's still a few more to come. Um, really is fun making these videos and and editing them and, and sitting reviewing them. But uh, yeah, this weekend, I'm having a weekend off. I'm starting to wind down now. This is probably the first time you've ever seen me sat down and doing nothing. But I'm actually not doing anything. I'm nothing. I'm doing this. So, yeah, we've had a busy couple of weekends and in all honesty, um, I need some time off. So, it's the England match this weekend. England versus Italy. We're going away in the van. We're not going too far. Local site, but um, it's one of our favourites. I'm going to do a little video on that. Um, I might do some edit uh, recording this weekend. But yeah, the van's looking good now. It's not far off being finished. A couple of little tweaks to do on it. We're 95% done, but uh, I'll just spin. Last weekend, we spent upgrading all the suspension. So on the front, we put a new five ton torsion beam in there. Um, Bilstein P6 dampers. On the rear, we put some Jones twin leaf um, HD leaf springs in, and we're still awaiting our delivery from Bilstein's. Apparently, there's a lot of people out there Converting the vans and upgrading the suspension, you lot. So there's a bit of a shortage, but anyway, I'm looking forward to the weekend, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching to the end. Without you guys, this channel will be dead in the water. Remember, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Crafty Blinders. If you like what we're doing, please remember to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Until next time, take care and we'll see you again.